and today the topic of discussion is perforating injury now let us first define what is actually a perforating injury it is an injury that causes full thickness defect in the eyeball it has two defects that is an entry wound and an exit wound had it been a penetrating injury there would have been a single wound which is the entry wound okay so this is the difference of definition between the two now let us see what are the symptoms symptoms include vein loss pain and irritation depending upon the extent of the damage caused by the injury to the eye signs there can be or they there may they may be present or they may be absent which include decreased visual acuity hypotony shallow ac and hemorrhage conjunctival edema and chemosis subconjunctival hemorrhage wound tract vitreous prolapse and uveal tissue prolapse now what are the aims of treatment first of all we try to conserve or preserve the vision then comes the anatomical preservation and ultimately to prevent the sympathetic ophthalmitis this is a condition that involves the other eye if there is an injury in the single in the first eye the treatment includes hospitalization general anesthesia wound cleaning and exploration it is very important to explore the wound so that you may be able to see the extent to which it is extending and then we close it and repair that extension of any prolapse uveal tissue repair of wound and post operative medication and there is enucleation as well now what can be the indications of enucleation if the injury is vast and there is no anatomical or visual prognosis second if there is a penetrating injury that involves the uveal tissue prolapse in that case to prevent the sympathetic ophthalmitis in the other eye it is essential to go for enucleation within 14 days the typical time within which it occurs is within 14 days to 2 months so during this period it the sympathetic ophthalmitis can occur at any time thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.